Good morning, Fair Oak. Welcome back to Science Time. It was fantastic to see so many of you try the water cycle in the bag. Lots of you uploaded photos onto Purple Mash, so thank you for that. I hope lots of you managed to observe the water cycle. If you haven't yet, don't worry. It might just need a little bit more warmth. The days haven't been so sunny recently, which is a real shame. Um, if you haven't seen it yet, please do check it out. Don't worry if you don't have food colouring, you'll still see results with water. Let's go a little bit closer, let's see. So the water cycle is happening in here, we're really lucky. The water, the liquid, has evaporated into a gas through the heat, through the warmth, and you can see that it started to cool down again from a gas back into a liquid. You can see the water droplets just there. So there's your condensation. Now earlier it was running, I wish I had the video on then, so we actually had some precipitation. But I'm gonna leave it up for a few more days because if it's sunny again tomorrow, we might have some really good results. And I'll see if I can pop some onto Purple Mash. I hope you did really well. If you do have any good photos, put them onto Purple Mash onto the blog for me. It'd be great to see them. Right, so let's go on with science time two. Now, I thought we'd do another one with the Ziploc bag because I know that lots of you had them for the water cycle. So I thought chances are you'll probably have another one. Now, what would you say to me if I said I was going to make lots of holes in a bag of water? I reckon you'd probably say, Mrs. Tuxford, you have gone crazy. Or maybe you're going to get us into loads of trouble. But you'd be wrong. This is a really good fun one and it looks really impressive. So you can impress all the people at home with this one. You don't need very much equipment, as you can see. You're going to need a zippy bag. Um, you're going to need some pencils. Uh, around four or five but they do need to be sharp so you might need a sharpener as well uh, you need a jug of water and I'd also suggest a bowl just for the end or maybe do this over the sink because potentially it could be a little bit messy at the end right let's get on with it so first of all we need to make sure that our pencils are sharp let's have a check Yep, they look pretty good. If they're not, do give them a sharpen because they will need to be sharp for this. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to fill our bag with water. Now, you might want to do this over the sink or over a bowl, but I'm okay to do this. I've done it a few times, but like I said, be careful. So, we're just going to pour it, just normal tap water, into our bag. Now, we don't want to overfill the bag because we still need to be able to seal it. I'm going to pop just a little bit more in, just because it will look more effective. So now we need to make sure that seal is closed really, really well. We don't want any of the water escaping. How are we doing? Yeah, that looks pretty good. Just one last check, just to make sure we don't want any accidents. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do then is we're going to poke a pencil into the bag. Now, you might want to treat this a bit like a magic show to your family. You might say something like, um, I bet you I can make a hole in this bag of water and none of it will escape. What? Your family will cry, no way. And then get ready to impress them. You could do something like this. Alexa, can I have a long drum roll, please? Okay. So get the pencil and push it into the bag. Now I'm twisting the pencil <gasps> till it comes out the other end. Look at that. Da -da! No water escaped at all. So your sharp pencil pierced into the bag and with a gentle twist, twisting it round has come all the way out through the other end. Now as you build up some practice you might get a little bit faster for impressiveness but we're going to do it with another one. So you could say, I'm not going to stop there. I'm going to do another one. They might gasp and think you're completely crazy. But let's try another one. Now, I pop it again into my bag. Maybe I'll go in a different direction. So I'm piercing the bag. You can hear it pierce. I'm giving it a gentle twist. And it's coming out through the other end. <gasps> da -da! No water's been spilled again. Now you might continue this with a few more pencils. They'll be so impressed at what you've done. It looks pretty spectacular. So you've put your pencils into the bag. You've impressed all your family. The only thing you need to remember, and this is really important, especially if you've got younger brothers or sisters, is do not pull the pencils back out. 
because what's going to happen? Yep, you've got it. If you pull that back out, suddenly all that water is going to come out and you are going to make such a mess. So how does it work? Excuse my drawing, but you'll get the idea from it. So the plastic bag is made up of long chains of molecules called polymers and these make the bag stretchy. So when the sharp pencil pierces the bag, it squeezes between the chains, but it doesn't break the chains. So a seal forms around the pencil and that way it stays watertight. Now you can also try this science magic with skewers or with other sharp things, but please, please be really careful of any sharp points, especially with your younger brothers or sisters around. And please try this over the sink first because I don't want either of us getting into trouble if you make a mess. I really hope you've enjoyed our first week of science time. Don't forget to post your pictures onto the Purple Mash blog. Let me know how you're getting on. I'd love to see them. And uh, well, for now, I will see you next week for more science time, guys. See you later. Bye.